Hey up everyone, Magpie Gaming here. I hope you're all doing well. So we've had a few quick changes to the game today. These are brought to us by Logical Solutions. So a big thank you to him for updating us with this info. But three of the top tier armors have had their durability increased today, which makes them more viable than it did before. So to start with, the 6B436A Zabrola SH body armor. Its old durability was 85. That's jumped up to 120 now. The NFM4 integrated carrier body armor. Its durability is gone from 75 up to 90 and the Fort Redux T5 body armor has gone from 100 up to 120. So some good changes there to the high level armor. Now for me as a casual doesn't really affect me because I never see these armors anyway. I never get to the point where I can unlock them or afford them but for those that like to run this kind of armor you should be able to take a few more hits now. It's going to last a little bit longer. It's going to be a little bit better for you. So yeah that is the main change in the game today. Next up we've got a question that's been posed by nice guy, nice guy Tarkov and this is should we open up labs more to the wider community now he's canvassing his followers at the moment and canvassing the community as a whole so I just wanted to put some uh, some more light onto this for people to get in on the discussion and he's basically wanting to know what can be done with the labs map to make it more accessible and more used by players out there and you've got to think of labs like this it's a very closed off map you need a key card to get on there it's a one use card it's an expensive card to get hold of you have to have max uh, level therapist to be able to buy them from here i think you can only buy a certain amount in a certain sort of window and you can't trade them on the flea market you can find them in game but they're pretty rare so far this wipe i have only found one key card in all of the raids that i've done including scav raids as well they just don't seem to be as abundant as they was in the previous wipe and the other thing is with this being a closed off map there is no insurance so if you die you're getting nothing back and it's got a lot of hackers on it as well it does have a bit of an image problem does this map but for good reason like i say it's closed off it's full of hackers or we assume it's full of hackers i'm not going to say that hackers will be in every raid that's held on that map but i think there's more on that map than any other map in the game and i think it's been like that for quite a while so he poses the question what can be done to get more use out of this map myself as a casual player I don't touch the map, I don't bother with it. And it's a shame because it is a really good map. But in the last wipe, I only played that map once. I didn't touch it again in those six months. It, it just, it holds no kind of um, draw for me to go there. Yes, there's good loot on there, but like I say, no insurance. So you're not guaranteed of getting anything back when you die. Um, again, full of hackers, so we tend not to touch it. I think it's just sort of for the very elite of the elite and as, as I say, all the hackers. So some of the uh, suggestions that have been put out there are making the um, key card more uses. So for instance, you'll be able to get 10 uses out of it or 25 uses out of it or making it an unlimited use card, but with the caveat that you can't then put it in your secure container. So if you die, it's gone and you'll have to try and get hold of another one. But it, it, I really do hope that eventually some of these suggestions get put through to BSG. Now I do know that Nice Guy Tarkov does have that direct access to people at Battlestate Games. So I'm hoping that once he's curated a good list of um, suggestions on how to make it a more used map by the wider community that he will put these to them and they do listen. Because I remember when Labs first came out, it was an amazing map and you didn't need a key card for the first couple of months. It was just open, anybody could go on it. And it was an absolute revelation going on there and fighting the Raiders who are a lot higher AI than general scavs. So for new players that have never touched Labs, if you've ever been on a lighthouse map and played against the rogues then that's the kind of ai that you were playing against on labs but in a very enclosed space so think of taking rogues on in factory and you sort of get in there but it is just for the vast majority of us a dead map and it would be really good to have it opened up and a lot of people are saying well if you open it up to people they're not going to play it because of the hackers but let's say that you've got it let's say for argument's sake it supports 15 people and you put 10 regulars in there and you've got five hackers the chances are that out of these 10 people, some of them are going to die to the hackers and report them. So the hackers are going to get reported more than they will do at the moment. It's a bit of a closed shop right now. I'm guessing that the report average for that map is pretty low because it will be hacker versus hacker. They may not report each other, I don't know. But the more general population you get in there, the more reports will get put through. And Battlestate have said that the quickest way to shut down hackers is for the manual 
the reports that get sent into them through the game by us the players so yeah but like i said go and check out his video he goes into in depth in it and he gives some really good ideas for it and gives some of sort of what would be the reaction from the community what would change on the map if we were to open it up a bit i really do hope that it gets opened up i think like i said it's a dead map it doesn't get the use that it deserves it definitely deserves to be explored more by the general population but i think for now the vast majority of us just do not bother with it but hopefully that might change in the future but like i say go check out his video i'll put a link in the description and one down in a pinned post so you can go and watch it leave your suggestions in his comments section or leave them in mine as well if we get some good ones i will dm them over to him and hopefully they will get through and we'll maybe get better access to labs sometime in the future with that being said ladies and gentlemen that's it from me thank you very much for watching and listening don't forget to like share and subscribe stay safe and i will catch you in the next one take care